Hello again, everyone. I'm going to uh, do another video here on how to install seasonal fall ground textures. This is a, a uh, contribution by Mad Max Land on xplane.org. Uh, it adds uh, seasonal fall colors to the ground, uh, usually for the dates of September, October, November, uh, in that area. And uh, let's get right to it. So you go to xplane.org. And you want to download the Seasonal Fall Ground Textures 1.0 by Mad Max Land. Uh, once that's all downloaded, these zip files you can place on your desktop. There's four of them. They're all labeled Seasonal Fall Ground Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. You want to unzip these packages to your desktop, and you end up with four files, also named Seasonal Fall Ground Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. So once you have these unzipped files here, we can start by uh, placing them in the, the custom scenery folder. So once you have all four of these files unzipped and placed on your desktop, we can uh, begin to put them into the custom scenery folder of your X-Plane 10 installation. Start with part one. When you open part one, you'll see you have a folder called Seasonal Fall N and Installation. Okay, we take the Seasonal Fall N folder. We're going to drag and drop that into our custom scenery folder. Okay, now that that is uh, finishing up, we can move on to our part number two. And it's a folder in there called Human. So we want to take that and we want to come over here to our Seasonal Fall End in our custom scenery folder. We're going to open up that, open the Terrain Textures folder. And this is where we want to drag and drop this folder. Human goes into Seasonal Fall and Textures 10. So let's drag and drop that in there. And once this is finished, I will show you the process for the next folder. Okay, so now the human folder is completing. And now you see we have the human folder in the Textures 10 of Seasonal Fall and of Custom Scenery. We can move on to Part 3 of the installation, which is the Seasonal Fall Ground Part 3 folder. And inside that, you'll see one that says Low Veg. The Low Veg folder you will find in Part 3. And jumping ahead just a little bit, Part 4 also has a Low Veg folder. These two, when it's done, will be merged into one folder over here in your custom scenery. So let's, uh, let's work on the Part 3, the first part. We're going to take the Love G folder. We're going to drag it and drop it into Textures 10. And once this is completed, I will show you how to take part four and merge it into the Love G folder under your custom scenery seasonal fall and textures 10. Okay, now that uh, part three of seasonal fall ground is finishing up, uh, I will turn here to go to part four. And again, part four has a, another file called low veg. This low veg here has to get merged with this low veg over here. So the easiest way to do that is to take the file drag it and you want to drop it into textures 10. You do not want to drop it into the low veg file. You want to drop it outside because they want to merge. So I take the file and just drop it here. And now the files in part four are merging with the files in your textures 10. And now that that is finishing up, your installation of seasonal fall ground is complete. So you end up with your seasonal fall N under your custom scenery. And opening that up, you have your Terrain 10, your Textures 10, your uh, Data Ref Ping, and your Library Text File. It's ready to use. Uh, I hope this helps. I appreciate you watching. And uh, I'll be doing more installation videos on, on some add-ons for X-Plane 10 that I have found makes it really, really unique. So until the next time, this is the Moth Gawker, flying planes in fiction, riding motorcycles in real life. Have a good day.